What's up everyone, Eric Rossi here, and we have breaking news from Sigma today, and they basically announced a new lens that's been very, very heavily rumored and waited on for a pretty long time. And if you saw the title, you know it's the Sigma 14 to 24 f 2.8 art lens. Right now, just to kind of tell you off the back, they don't have a price for it yet. We'll cover that in a second, kind of compare it to what's out there, to what they've already made, and what some others have made. But this is gonna be for Nikon and Canon mounts, along with some Sigma and the MC11 adapter. And they're touting this as, as part of their global vision for their full frame, essentially their project. They wanna make a lot of full frame glass, but they are also targeting this so that you can use this with 50 megapixel sensors. So they're really trying to say, we've upped the game on quality, you go from there. It'd be really interesting to see what they do. Tamron stepped up their game a lot, and so now has Sigma. I would love to see how this produces when it fully comes out. A couple interesting little things in this one. I'll cover one of the ones last, but you got 17 elements and 11 groups. It's a wide angle lens, it's pretty typical. You go from f2.8 to f22. You will get a nine blade diaphragm, so interesting bokeh, we'll, we'll see how that looks. Sigma's famous hypersonic motor, which is pretty fast and accurate and it just does really well. Usually works pretty decent-ish with Canon dual pixel. Uh, Sony does okay when it's adapted, but usually it's still even a little bit loud and clicks a little bit. That's kind of their only downside in regards to that. It weighs about 40.6 ounces, which means it's got a little bit of weight to the guy right there. And in some of the pictures that I'll show and everything, you'll see that it also has a bulbous front element. That's usually how these wide angle lenses are, like the Tamron 15 to 30, the Nikon 14 to 24, et cetera, et cetera. That's just how these work. And they also said that this design so that it has near 0% distortion. I'm very, very interested to see how that looks at 14 millimeter. You're pretty much always gonna get some vignetting around the edges and everything and some distortion. So if it's gonna be near zero, I would definitely like to challenge that and see that in person. Dust, dust and splash proof with is a big deal. But really the only other thing left in regards to this lens is something that they're doing that requires a fee if you wanna do a very special thing with it. I'm sure a lot of you know what VR is, virtual reality, and for a fee, Sigma is saying that they can convert the front of your lens, there'll be a front, uh, a front mount conversion that they can do to make the uh, front element more rounded so it doesn't distort or cause more shadow or anything if you're doing VR or shooting things in VR. It's a very interesting move. Um, I didn't think a lot of companies like like that would pay attention to that. And VR is still an emerging thing, augmented reality and all that kind of stuff. So it's interesting to see that they're willing to do that. But if it's a conversion, that usually means they gotta do it physically. Can you go back with something like that? Do you then have to pay the fee? That's like Canon with a C log and all that kind of stuff. So interestingly enough, a lot of people won't be interested in something like this, but what are your thoughts? So once again, right now there is no price on the Sigma. 14 to 24 f 2.8 art lens with the hypersonic motor. Sigma's already kind of made stuff for the full frame market and everything. Uh, Sigma currently makes the 12 to 24 f4 for Nikon and Canon, and that runs about $1,600. That is also designed for uh, full frame and crop sensors. I'm gonna put another 2.8 into comparisons. Nikon's famous and very old at this point. Still an amazingly one of their sharpest lenses. Their Nikon 14 to 24 f 2.8 lens, which runs still new for about $1,900. So Sigma obviously isn't going to surpass $1,900. If they do, I'd be pretty shocked. It's just weird where they place themselves at because a 12 to 24 F4 is pretty high in my opinion for about $1,600. So I, 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 I think they have to live around there. I'd say I, I'd guesstimate about $1,700. Uh, I, I, I hope not. I really do because that's gonna drive a lot of people away. Maybe not, I don't know. But uh, what are your thoughts? What should this lens cost? I will update a pin post down below when the final pricing is released, but I wanted to talk about this camera because it's a big deal uh, about this lens because it's a big deal. A lot of people have been waiting a long time for this thing and I'm interested to see what Sigma can do with this and hopefully it can solve a lot of people's wants and and hunger for things. Because Canon really doesn't have a 14 to 24. They've got their 16 to 35 to 8. Uh, version 3, which is roughly around $2,000. A lot of people are opting, like I, myself, for the 16 to 35 f4, which is about $900 to $1,000. So, up to you, but what are your thoughts on this new Sigma Art lens? Is this something that you're interested in? Let me know down below. What should it, what should it cost?